The city of Toowoomba in eastern Australia is a picturesque community nestled in the hills outside of Brisbane. David Jutsum works in a small office building in the middle of town. His window overlooks a small creek. One summer, intense rainstorms turn the normally mild climate upside down. For literally months before that day in January, it had been raining non-stop here in Queensland. We had experienced one of the most incredible wet seasons that I can ever remember. One day, Jutsum arrives at work and immediately realizes something is wrong. The small creek behind his office is usually a trickle. Now it is growing at an alarming rate. No, don't go that way. It rained so hard and it all just pooled here in Toowoomba into these little creeks that, uh, that burst their banks and, and swallowed anything that was, that was close to them. That's coming fast. Should we move our cars out the front of the building and just go? It's not going to take much. The waters begin to edge out into the parking lot. The wheels of the cars are quickly underwater. Then, a car starts to move. David and his co-workers are becoming seriously alarmed. Oh, look at the silver one going. <gasps> one by one, cars are being lifted off the ground and sucked into the raging torrent. I'd always heard people you know, speak about, you know, stay out of floodwaters, but it wasn't really until you saw its power and, and intensity for yourself that you really understand just how dangerous they can be. Don't, oh mate, don't. He's taking the air out of his, air out of his tires. Despite the danger, David watches in horror as a man rushes into the water in an attempt to save his car. <gasps> There's another one. Miraculously, he escapes with his car and his life. Oh, lucky. He his car. Meanwhile, dozens more cars wash downstream behind him. It really did surprise the meteorologists. There really was no time for anyone to give any warning. David and his colleague watch while car after car hurdles past their window. Then they notice something by a small bridge upstream. It's still coming higher. A vehicle is caught on the other side of the bridge. There's another one, look. Oh. In just seconds, the sheer force of the water pulls the vehicle through and it pops up on the other side. Oh my, now so it's getting underneath. sucked under. Oh, it got, did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> When the rain stopped, I was able to go outside and you know, talk to some people, but also just see the sheer devastation that had been wrought everywhere. In all, more than 50 cars are destroyed in the flash flood. David finds dozens of them piled up on top of each other a quarter mile away. I've never seen anything of the magnitude that, that this was. I've never seen rain turn into flash flooding with such ferocity and with such speed as, as it did on that day. Around town, businesses are flooded and people's lives turned upside down. Life is, is bound to bring us tragedy. It's bound to, to bring us hope and, and joy. The floods have probably showed me more than anything that life is an incredible gift.